Hi everyone, my name is Rosa and I'm a Youth Services Librarian with the Vaughan Public Libraries. Some of you might recognize me from the Dufferin Clark Public Library branch where I run the Born to Read and Reading Buddies programs. Today I'm going to show you how to make fizzing treasure rocks. There are a number of websites that show how to make different variations of this activity, but the two websites that I learned it from are called The Parent Spot and Little Bins for Little Hands. Both these websites will be linked down below. The materials that you're going to need for this activity are a bowl to put your baking soda in, approximately about a cup of baking soda, depending on how many rocks you do want to create, some white vinegar or lemon juice, water in a separate container from the bowl, some food coloring, and something to act as your treasure. So uh, gold coins, loose change, anything plastic and small. I have some buttons and a penny that I'll be using. You're also going to need something to squeeze the vinegar on top of your rock, such as a pipette, a meat baster, or a squeeze bottle. So your first step is to add one to two or three cups of baking soda to a bowl, depending on how many rocks you want to make. Um, this is going to basically be a recipe you play with, depending on how many rocks you want to make. And that includes the water as well. So the second step is to add some color to your water. Um, note that once it mixes with the white baking soda, the food coloring color in the water won't be as dark. So you may want to add a couple more drops to that water before you add it to the baking soda. Your third step is to slowly add the colored water to the baking soda a little bit at a time. I put a little bit too much water in here. So you want to aim for a crumbly mixture that makes a snowball type of texture when packed together. If your mixture is too wet or runny, um, just add more baking soda. And this is what I did because mine was extremely runny. If your mixture crumbles apart after you pack it together, then you're just gonna need to add a little bit more water. Once you have that crumbly mixture that you can pack in together like a snowball and it sticks together, you can start creating your own little rocks or balls. Um, in order to create the treasure rocks, you're gonna put half a tablespoon of your mixture in your hand and then place your treasure in the middle and then top it off with another half tablespoon of your mixture. Once you've completed creating your rocks, you can wrap them in saran wrap, wax paper, or parchment paper and place them in the freezer for at least one hour to overnight to let them harden. So once your rocks have firmed up a bit in the freezer, you can take them out and simply start squirting your lemon juice or your vinegar directly on top of them. Alternately, you can also have a bowl of lemon juice or vinegar and just drop each one in and you'll have basically the same effect. You just won't be squirting it on top. And now all you gotta do is watch them fizz. So because the rocks are frozen, they should last a little bit longer during the fizzing step. The more frozen they are or the harder they are, the longer they should last. This is a great activity that demonstrates the chemical reaction between baking soda and vinegar. You can see, hear, feel, and even smell the chemical reaction taking place right in front of you. When you combine baking soda, which is a base, with the vinegar or lemon juice, which are acids, you create carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is very unstable and it breaks apart and decomposes into carbon dioxide gas and water. What we hear and see fizzing are the carbon dioxide bubbles as they come out of the water solution. Thank you for stopping by and watching. If you enjoy our videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. For more educational activities and videos for kids, please head on over to our YouTube channel. Find us by searching for Vaughn Public Libraries in the YouTube search bar. Until next time, please stay safe and goodbye.